so while I have a little downtime between um, customers because the restaurant is closed right now, I remembered that I didn't say anything about safety in my camper. So I have um, a fire extinguisher. Um, it's not one of those regular ones. Stop fires fast, some kind of spray. Um, and so I also have carbon monoxide detector. I didn't get a smoke detector because I figured it's such a small space that if I'm cooking, I'm not going to be going anywhere. I'm going to be paying attention to what's going on. And um, I'm going to notice really quickly if something is uh, burning. So I didn't want it going off all the time. And at one point I had um, pepper spray down here just as an extra safety measure. Um, it's in my car right now because I didn't really want to have it um, displayed while I'm doing my sales. Um, but yeah, so I've got uh, some safety precautions for emergencies. And um, I think that's it. That's what I wanted to share. It's been a really busy day today uh, for sales and I'm um, getting ready to pack up. All right, thanks for watching. I forgot to, sh I forgot to show that this is where I hook up to electricity. Um, if I'm at a campground or I'm at a house where I can plug in. So I have the ability to do both. You know, I have the solar panel, which um, I'm gonna try to show the solar panel on uh, the roof. It's a 160 watt solar panel, um, pretty small. But for my needs, for my refrigerator and my LED lights, um, and my computer, my phone, um, it works just fine. And I also have other ways of charging my phone and my computer. I have a, like a, a portable solar charger for my um, phone, and I also can plug my computer into the car to charge it. And obviously, as well as my phone, I can plug my phone in the car. So, and if I'm at a cafe or something, I can. Uh, you know, charge my computer. Um, so I don't feel like I'm limited um, for my needs. All right, well, thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting you on the road. Camper. So it's definitely been a learning process. I forgot to show. I have little um, cat hooks here that I use for my just to display jewelry but yeah it's definitely been a learning curve to go from living in a house to um, living in a tiny home tiny tiny home on wheels um, and you know towing it which was a big learning curve you know to learn how to tow the camper and just all of the features all the different systems that we've taken for granted, you know, when we live in a house. But it's definitely a, an adventure and a lot of fun. And I hope more people, uh, you know, get into the tiny house movement and um, think about, you know, downsizing so that you can live a freer, more full lifestyle out in the world, connected to people, connected to nature. Um, it's a new thing for me. And it's, it's sometimes a little more challenging because you are used to certain um, structures and comforts. But um, I think ultimately it's um, a lifestyle that's more sustainable. I mean, obviously not for everyone, but it's, um, it definitely inspires adventure and uh, getting outside more.